Switching focus, 12 minutes left. What's your last chance to trade? So, uh, this one's actionable if you want it, right? Yes, please. Okay. That's the point. <laughs> Uh, I want to talk about the banks, the big banks specifically. There's been nothing to say about these companies technically for a long time. Now we have two confirmed breakouts. First one, JP Morgan. I'm long the stock. I own it. I think she can roll up to 125 without any resistance here. This is a bona fide breakout. It's already happened. But the one that looks even better, and I wish I owned it, is U.S. Bank Corp. No one ever talks about it. They're not based in New York. They're not controversial enough. They don't have a silly mascot. But this <laughs> one looks incredible. This is the one. Has already broken out, has retested and survived. And I think this is just going to be a runaway train um, in comparison with the rest of the sector. Here's one that's in development. Keep an eye on STI, SunTrust. This is not a money center. It's a regional, much tougher sector. SunTrust has been consolidating around 64, 65 since February. Now it has broken out. I think 66 and a half. The juice is loose. This is where this thing really gets going. Use a stop. Trail it with the 50-day MA. Take very little risk here to the downside. If you're wrong, you will know immediately. Um, but if this one gets going, it might even be a signal for the rest of the regionals. Again, very tough trade there, but this one's working. JP's the only one you own, though? I own JP Morgan. Um, I own Schwab. Doesn't look great. I might buy Goldman Sachs. Doesn't look great, but it could. Mm -hmm. um, but, but JPM is the one that I'm long. Okay. A triple final trade. Josh, thanks.